All right, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. If you are following along, we are trying to play all of the wonderful Twitch Prime games. And if you subscribe to this very channel, I'll let you pick the next one. So that's always an option. Our good buddy Jordan, IOF, has picked Dream Daddy, of course. So let's get into it. New game. Which one of these wonderful dads? Which one of these wonderful dads do we think we're going to play as? Or I guess not play as, but... Uh, um, court? Which one of these wonderful dads are we going to court? Amanda. Z -Z 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 Dad, wake up. Wake up, pretend to be dead. Wait five more minutes. Let's wake um. up, because that's what I would do. I'm going to play... I'm going to try and play this... Um, like I would play or like answer it, you know, how I would. So I'm going to move this camera a little bit. There we go. Mandy Pandy. Aww. Go brush your teeth. Okay. Don't skip the corners. Dad tip. Build that dad. Build that dad. Okay. Um, we want a heavier build. Let's see. Which one looks the most like me? I guess this is I guess this is closer to me. Um I assume we can give him a big beard. I don't really know. Look at all this. Look at all these hair choices. There's no see one of the problems with these pre-pandemic games is there's no there's no pandemic hair option, I don't think. I guess this looks I guess this looks the most like me. Brown eyes. Oh, I like those ones. Dark brown noses. I don't know what my nose looks like. It's not bad. I guess we'll go with that one. Let's see. Um, ooh, look at those luscious lips. Look how luscious these all are. Wow, they're luscious. I like that one. Brows. I got some pretty scruffed brows. Pretty large brows on me. That looks okay. Glasses. There we go. Pierces, no. There's no beard? Hold on. Did I miss the beard section? My guy looks like a prevert. I gotta. <laughs> I think I gotta change some shit. He looks a bit like a prevert. It's the mouth. I think it's the mouth. I guess that's. I guess that's fine. Clothing. I guess we go with that. Oh. There it is. That's me. That is me right there. I, I, I don't understand how there's no beard, though. Shadow? Okay. Is there... Am I missing something? Eyes, noses, mouths, brows. Oh, facial hair. I am missing something. Apparently, I'm just fully dumb. I'll go with this one. Although mine is longer, but it doesn't look like this. Okay. That's a good looking daddy hey, right there. Dad. First name. JH. Last name. Macy. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch at JH Macy. Um, be the dad. Did you fall asleep packing, JH? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like you did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, mm -hmm. Straggler. What is what is what's in it? Uh, I'm also dyslexic, so this game's gonna be a fucking shit show. <laughs> 
Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Whoa, I haven't seen any of these in years. I pull out the ones, one of the dusty albums from the top, and we pop in the pile, and we begin looking through it. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Why would you make me, Jordan? Why would you make me play a reading game? Why would you do that to me? You know I'm dyslexic. All right. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. Um, let's go with the mother. But whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between a princess or a dragon, so you went with both princess dragon. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and you realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself in the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Yep, it looks ah. like a horse phase. Dad, I believe your name, that plush horse, Sir Horsington the Brave. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Hell yeah. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later yeah. down the road. Alright. I'm already tired of reading. Dad. Already fucking tired. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I'll never stop mixing those uh. two up. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it a... Give it like a bit of effort. I don't see. I don't want to read as a <laughs> as a teenager. Wow. Oh shit! I accidentally clicked something. I shouldn't click through so fast. No, Dad, that mm. was Emma S. She moved to Kentucky three years ago. I mm. miss her. I also miss my hamster, Sir Hamilton the Brave. Anyway, I gotta go to Emma R. Go. To, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. It's a ladybug. Yeah, I got a twenty twenty dollar gift card to McFridays. Ooh. I would love to go to McFridays right now. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. Ooh, I want a cheesy tostada blast. Uh. I really want that. I still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Mm. I want McFridays so bad right now. I, I'd absolutely, I'm absolutely starving right now. And that fucking, we just, we just finished Spinch, which is absolutely made me ravenously uh. hungry. This was the day you were born. This was the day we adopted you. I think this is the day you were born. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man, she holds my hand, looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all going to be okay. Aww. She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. we got to finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Hmm. Okay. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? That's a lot of fun. We love when we... We love that. We love breaking that. We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in the house. It will forever be... Hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit. To leave it behind. Washer and dryer hookups, two car garage, multiple places to sleep. Two car garage, baby. Two whole cars. Wow. Dad tools, motorcycle, sick hog, steel pony. Ugh. This is like, this was made by gang grumps. Sick fucks. They're sick fucks, that's all. Huh? 
Have you met any of the neighbors yet? The neighbor seems pretty hmm. quiet. How fast can we get through this game? <laughs> that is my question. The lawn is freshly mowed and the four sailstein is still in the yard. Hiya. Did you see all the dogs in the nearby park? Need some coffee ASAP. Need to unpack first. Let's go to the dog park. There's gotta be some dads at the dog park. I can imagine there wouldn't be. This place is hmm. nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You never be too careful. See that baby stroller over there? Government mm. operative. Very funny. This is a very funny dad we've got here. End up at a small park. Toddlers chase around each other. Playground. But a man has possible nice man. Heads up. Oh, somebody ran into me. Frisbee. Woof. A dog says, ooh, a wonderful little corgi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, can I help you? Impart on me wisdom. Impart on me your wisdom, tiny dog. Pet the dog. But where do I pet the dog? Give it those head rubs. Yeah, I'd give it a head rub. All right. Definitely could have caught that. Guy in Hawaii. Oh, here we go. Now this is a nice dad. This is a nice dad right here. This is what we're looking for. Wonderful little dog right here. Well, you traditionally are not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. It's a new technique. <laughs> oh, he loved it. He loved it. Oh, did you see those? <laughs> did you see those emojis? Those eggplant emojis? I'm JH. This is my daughter, Amanda. Hi. Your dog's cool. Old Maxwell. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checker blanket. She's reading a bigger book than her head. She puts it down. Ah. This is Daisy. She's reading Brothers Karamaz Kar Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has reading comprehension because of a high schooler. Hey. How old is she? Ten. She's a precious little youngster. Ah. Hey. What the fuck's going on here? Holy shit. This is fucking looks like Pokemon. Oh wow, this is this is funny. Brag. A loco photography orb. Wow, congratulations. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. Uh oh. What's this? Can't switch daughters. Amanda is your only daughter. <laughs> That's funny. Band-Aid, Spelling Bee Photo, Child Art, Grade Card, Spelling Bee Photo. You lose 5 HP, damn, okay. You lose 10 HP, uh oh, I'm fucking this up. Grade Card. Brian loses 25, yes, bitch. Extra powerful. Wow, this ain't going good. Last week on Prom 2, helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Extra powerful. You lose 10. Oh boy. I think he's gonna win. I think he won. Oh. Huh. Daisy and I are a little ranch style house on the corner. Oh, wow. Slightly bigger than ours and better lands. Wow, this is more of a, a competition, Dad, than a, than a than a romantic relationship. I feel like, but I guess uh, I guess we can see where it goes. I guess we can see where that goes. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one up oh. us, trying and succeeding? <laughs> Could have majored in comparative horse studies. Go to the coffee shop, go unpack, tape and take a nap. Let's go to the coffee shop. Bean juice. Need that bean juice. <laughs> yes. 
Why would I go somewhere else to drink coffee on the couch when I could drink a better coffee at home on my own couch and not make awkward eye contact with people? I, I mean, to me, it depends on the coffee shop. There are some places that can make a better Ugh. Americano than, uh, than I can make at home, but I mean, my espresso machine's just fine. Look at this fucking guy. This is a nice dad, Matt, with one T. Hey. Oh. Mm. Hey. Mm. Eh? Iced Tegan and Sarah. Chai and Antward. Um, well, I would get a black coffee, so. Macchiato DeMarco, that old Mac DeMarco reference. We love that. <laughs> we surely become friends with him. Well, we'll definitely hey. consider Matt with one T. Hey. Uh, the one T is really throwing me, though. So, Matt service reach a piece. Happily chow it down. Did I not eat lunch today? Why am I so ravenously hungry today? <laughs> Don't understand. Okay, I uh, might be only to give be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll I'll give it a shot. Banana bread, Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. Banana bread Kennedy's. I like that one. Hey. Wait, what? Hey. 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 Oh. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the fuck's that? Who the fuck was hey. that? Thanks for stopping in. Take care. I need a nap. I should get back to unpacking. All right, let's go unpack. Hmm. Oh, wow, who do we have here? Huh. Joseph, wow. I'm JH. <laughs> Four kids, <laughs> damn. Hey. <laughs> she died. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. It's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand here quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Sorry. Can you close the door real quick? Ooh. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. Hmm. He's reintroducing himself. Hey. getting introduced to all the dads right away I guess Joseph probably wants his plate back okay. uh. Uh. Huh. oh look at all these blonde kids they look uh, fucked up they look scary I don't like this one I don't like this guy I'm not gonna do this one he looks too scared this, lo this is too scary to me so far, uh, I, so far, I think the big fat guy is winning um, the competition. Dad, he was he was good. I need to rest oh. my eyes. Okay, let's take a little nap, ski. Well. Oh, here we go, oh. Craig, our buddy Craig. Oh. Oh. It's been too long, well. dude. Cleaned up my act. He's ripped. <laughs> we went to college together. <laughs> hmm. He's got a he's got a little child now. Oh. Ashley. Ashley is her name. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 
Is Craig someone we can date also? I don't know. Oh. I guess so. Probably. Bro. Huh? Hmm? One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. I've done that before. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and he sat there and drank it like it was a normal thing people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. He said, it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. Not with marinara sauce, but like tomato paste. Uh. Tomato paste is pretty good. If you just eat it like it's a fucking can of jello. Uh. Open the envelope. Did you get into school or not? <laughs> I guess not. Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Great. Think of plans. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. I gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. <laughs> go to bed, go out and watch the game? Yeah, sure. Mm. You know, the game. Ugh. Are we going to a bar? Be alright if we're going to a bar. shit i hate fucking the shit <laughs> the fucking the reading the reading is not for me i think we've established that already but uh this looks like a, this looks like a place i would actually hang out though small bar bartender one beer please sure thing boss jim or kim i'm neil awkwardly turn my attention to the game which is playing on one of the tvs as Luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead. My team of preference, yes. Oh. Middle-aged woman, holding a nearly empty wine glass, slides up to the bar. Hi, hey, sailor. Oh. Hello. I moved to this part of town. I'm JH. Yeah, hey. my preferred team is winning. Hmm. Buy a gal a drink? I'd buy Mary a drink, sure. What's your deal? What do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip around here? Hmm. I watch people. Come so, on. so what? Ah. She's not gonna give mm. me any information. She takes a sip of her drink. Hey. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? All right, Come sure. On. Okay, here he is. Here's that guy we saw earlier at the coffee shop. He looks dirty. He looks like a dirty man. Hey. Robert. Robert. Uh. Robert looks cool, I guess. I like shots. Huh. We're doing shots, uh. boys. We're doing fucking whiskey shots with Robert. Compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks. Compliment his hand tattoo. He has a hand tattoo. You can barely see that shit. I can't even really see that shit. Compliment his cool mm. leather jacket. This uh. man is mysterious and cooler. What are you doing here tonight? Daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. My daughter kicked me out of the house. Oh, he does not like that. I'm going to go home. You heading my way? All right. Robert and I leave the bar walking in the same direction. I live in the call sect in there. Everybody lives down here. We all live down here. Everybody lives down here. We all love this. 
Do you want to come inside or not? Uh, yeah. Oh. Sure. Well, I'm going to fuck this guy, I guess. <laughs> but he fumbles with the key. The second unlocks the door. Tenny moves behind us, push me against the wall, and kisses me and grabs my hips. <laughs> this guy's going to fuck me. All right. <laughs> Robert takes my hand and leads me down the stairs into what I assume is his bedroom. It's so dark I can't see anything. He kisses me again. I hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take off mine too. His hand roams down my chest and suddenly I feel tugging at my belt. I, uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want me to stop? No. Good. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. We have some fun. All right. We fucked a guy. How many more guys can we fuck in this game? There's a clutter, uh, clatter from the bathroom. The door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his key. That was fun. Yeah, it was. You should go. That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, uh, mm. we'll talk later. Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. Hastily, I get dressed to show myself out. Amanda. I rush back home. Amanda. Amanda runs yeah. out of the kitchen. Uh, Amanda, I was hoping you'd have been gotten kidnapped. They left a while ago. Ugh. Ah. Pickle huh? juice. Yummy. We love pickle juice. Who raised you? Amanda Ann. Give her a stern, resigned side eye. <laughs> Secret handshake. Amanda's school. Oh, wow. What the fuck is this person? That's a youth. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. Oh. Okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking, everybody. Hmm. Um. Oh. Hmm. Um. Oh. Um. Hmm. What? Um. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh. Oh. Um. Oh. Hmm. Um. Eh. Oh. Eh. 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 Ah. Ah. Hey. Ah. Oh. Oh. Eh. Huh. Okay. Mr. Vega talks about celebrity crushes and talked about Mario Batali. Mario Batali, the rapist? That, isn't, that hasn't aged well. It really hasn't aged that well. Let's go to the mall and food court. Why not? Hmm. Anywhere we can meet more dads is, oh. is good to me. Hmm. Have you been reading my tweets? Hmm. You have Twitter? Never mind. I thought you liked Mr. Ah. Vega's class. He's fine. He's fine. Ugh. Are you bummed out that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Ah. Who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to hmm. your school? Yep. Do you like ah. Noah? No. 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 Gross. What a sweet little game. What a sweet little interaction between a father and daughter. I'm really trying to get through this. I don't I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> we arrive at the mall, big indoor shopping center. We're gonna the floors. Let's eat something. What the mood for bread, dipped in sugar, but cheese, pretzel. We know we want a pretzel. That's what we're looking for. Hey. Oh. Ugh. 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 Dad. Eh? Hmm. Let's go to the goth store. Okay. Hmm. Eh. All right. Amanda runs into the store down me the beeline to the yeah. back. Here it is. You can still see the other one. Okay. Amanda. Speech, 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 speech. Thank you all for joining us here today. Come right at a historic moment. We would love that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda and Macy had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. 
After begging her father to go to Dead Goth and Beyond, buy a rainbow suspender, she proceeded to throw up all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. <laughs> pursue the band t-shirts, look at ironic mugs, check the clearance bin for hot dales. Let's first let's look at the let's look at the bands. Cannibal Bone Party. That sounds like a good band. Hope the parents are really proud of them. Look, this isn't very important to me. Okay. This guy. This is the guy that we gotta fuck next. <laughs> I. When I bought online website, the last was a Victorian inspired how I received it. Clearly the trademark of Red War. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. Wow. That sounds like a good show. Give this a save, y'all. Excited to beef up my grilling skills. If there's food, I'm excited. Excited to beef up my grilling mm. skills. Huh. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Oh. Hello, Joseph. Uh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Christian and Christy, we stare at them. They creepily say nothing. Oh. I hate them. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Where's Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh no, it's the woman from the bar the other oh. night. What's she doing here? Oh, that's his wife. Oh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh. Regains composure. Shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. Oh, she's not holding wine. Nice to meet you, Mary, for the first time. a friend. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that the barista? Oh, dang. Robert's here? Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in Dead Goth and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I better investigate. Talk to Robert and Brian. Talk to Matt, Hugo, and Craig. Talk to Joseph and Damien. Burger time. Which one was Joseph and Damien? I'll talk to Joseph and Damien. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Mm. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Having a conversation, Damien, about his aesthetic. Damien regards me up and down with a warm, mm. critical eye. How do you do? I don't believe we've had the pleasure. I saw you at Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter <laughs> likes to go to dead goth and beyond. What? Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would be more describe myself as twee hipster with some norm core leanings. Hmm. Ah, pity. Aww. Ew. Amanda walks up into the camera chair. I also like Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? Yeah, that would, my dear, but I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting Damien Blood March at your service. Damien Blood March. That's fucking dope, dude. Uh, what? It's fucking, uh. What's that game? Castlevania or something? Or, uh. Reminds me of some Castlevania shit. Won't you come play with us? Wow, that's some. That's a classic Stanley Kubrick reference right there. Uh. Got ourselves a classic. A classic Stanley Kubrick reference. Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hind. Mary takes a long sip of wine. I think I might have taped over the Veggie Tales VHS with The Shining. Who knows? <laughs> There's the actual reference. There it is. 
Why is there? Why is one of their children lost? Is that like? Oh. Is that something that happens a lot? They lose one of their kids. Huh. Huh. Ah. <laughs> oh. I six 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 tattoo. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Hmm. That is a lot of fun. Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. Talk to Robert Bryan. Talk to Matt Hugo Craig. Hey. What's up, boys? Periods in art history only exist in byproduct. Talk to Craig. Listen in on Matt mm. and Hugo. Mm. Oh. Eh. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Hugo throws up his hand in frustration. Hmm. Me too. Hmm? Ah. I get fired up about art stuff. How are you liking the neighborhood? Hey. Oh. Oh, wow. She's nice. Hey. That's good style. She's got really hey. good style. Hey. Carmen Sita? Look, I'm making friends. Yes. Ugh. Oh. Sweet Manchego. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Ernest. He's funny. Look how funny this guy is. He looks like, uh... Oh. I don't know what he looks like, but the, uh, the mustache reminds me of something. Hmm. Some sort of cartoon character. Eh. Cartoon bully. talking so much what are they even talking about oh. at this point oh. talking about being a cool dad hey, hey uh. talk to robert and brian sure i'll talk to everybody hey guys hey. jh how the heck are you hey. great to hear oh. have you met robert yet yes i believe we met briefly <clears throat> hey robert takes a long hey. sip of whiskey <laughs> 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 This is a good interaction here, because he's already fucking slid his wiener into me. Joseph closes his eyes, take a deep breath, a little bit, and bam, bam. Oh. J.H. Joseph is known around here for his uh, grillmanship. Hey. All right, let's get some grilling uh, going. Hey. Yeah. Everybody's running up. Hey. Everybody's running up. Hey. Hmm. It's crazy oh. that all these dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Oh. That is really crazy. I mean, I got a burger in me. I felt like it was a networking event. I wish I could have been playing paranormal ice road truckers. Hmm? Hmm? Good feeling. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Huh? Hmm. 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 Hmm? Work on some stuff. See how long I can sleep for. Throw a party. Let's work on some stuff. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh-oh, she's not responding to text. Please text me and let me know you're okay. What's up? Aww. Yep. Why didn't you answer my text? Hmm. Oh, whoops, guess I didn't see those. Hmm? Hmm? I was scared. Ah. Huh. Huh. Oh. Ah. I thought about what you said ah. last night. Sorry, Pops. I'm sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make good choices. Good. Sorry for freaking out on you. Huh? Team Macy. <laughs> Do you want some eggs? All right. All right. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Dad book. Hell yeah. Huh. Ugh. Let's make a dad book profile. Why not? On a Friday night, you're most likely to polish and sort my coin collection. Netflix and Grail, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel, torment my children with dad puns, sink into blissful oblivion slash sleep. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Fall asleep watching Netflix and Grill. Polish my coin collection? Sure. If you had one thing to take on a desert island, what would it be? Lost Shaker of Salt, of course. That's a fucking Jimmy Buffett reference. What are your turn on? Strong dad arms, tennis shoes with long white socks, well manicured lawns, street smarts, top tier grillmanship, comfortable with crying. <laughs> um, tennis shoes with long white socks, strong dad arms, comfortable with crying is funny to me. Um, what do you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer, salty boat captain, pro skater who's an astronaut, a good father, the president of space. President of space. What's your favorite movie genre? War documentary. Sean Connery's entire filmography. Anything on Laserdisc, romantic comedies. Uh, whatever will make you cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. Yeah, sure. What's your ideal date? Napping together. Doing a thousand piece puzzle. Eating healthy. Trying to get... Trying to geocache but getting hopefully lost. Being mostly vulnerable. Um napping together what do you never leave the house without a sensible cardigan my sick vape a cool knife <laughs> crippling little diversion forgot my phone key and wallet at home sometimes um hmm. cool knife is pretty funny Go with cripplingly low self-esteem. I spent a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories, how proud I am of a child, potential end of the world, if I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill, when I can get my next coffee cup. Conspiracy theories. Profile yeah. complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Alright. <laughs> get him, Dad. Okay. Welcome. You've got dads. Message. Damie seems really interesting. A little odd, but interesting. Type out a message. Hey, dude. You seem cool. We should hang out sometime. Oh, wow. He's really typing a lot. JH. My excitement to be receiving this kind of letter from you, as I see, I do find myself available to enjoy your company. I must ask for your forgiveness, however. I believe our first meeting did not pay me in a gentlemanly manner like I would have liked. Okay. I would highly flatter to join my companionship, my resident for an afternoon tea and stroll around my garden. Uh, yours humbled, Damien Bloodmarch. Ah. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally cool. I just found out that my succulent had been watering and singing to the last thing that's actually made out of plastic. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? You have to tell me what's actually wrong. I'm so sorry about your plan. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that's what you're actually upset about? Hmm. Uh. 
Ugh. Oh. Turn to the computer and she squints at Damien's message. I just don't understand net speak. Like, is this how you kids communicate? So what hmm. do I do? Where's your pen and quill? <laughs> Sure thing, dude. <laughs> Regards. J.H. Right. Well, I suppose that's that. Wow, look at his house. It's a manor. An estate. Gargoyles. Ornate bats. This is fucking great. I love this. Pleasure to have you in my home. Majestic staircase. What's with the door slamming shut? Oh, sorry, there was a draft. Hmm. I like oil paintings. Please, let me show you around. Okay. I should probably save before I fuck this up. He's a son? Did we meet his son yet? Ah. Wonderful library. Look out the window, look at the butterflies, pick up a book. Pick up a book. <laughs> the Victorian era, there's some controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought that more, what's that say, tardy novels would encourage youth into the life of crime and would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. Hmm. Yorito struggled against the chains that sus. Was that Sasuke? Had bound with him. What? I think that's enough. Mm. That's a rare book. Look out the window. Look at the butterflies. Oh, let's look at the butterflies. That's pretty impressive. Oh. Nice bugs. Ah. Hmm. Look out the window. <laughs> oh. Uh. Join me for tea. Sure. Why not? High tea refers to the wealth of class. In the fact, high refers to both the later times of the day that the working class had to, to enjoy tea, the height of the tables on which they were served. Mm. We're currently into afternoon tea. Very informative. Your home is really impressive. Are there a lot of goss in Maple Bay? I like your cape. Your home is really impressive. Love to see a marching band. Hmm. Maybe a black parade, perhaps. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I like watching soap making videos on the internet. I love me some word jumbles. I once learned how to juggle. I love me some word jumbles. How about that? Hmm. <laughs> In a sense. Oh. Wow, that's a nice garden. Look at all those fucking gargoyles. Lions are ablaze. Thou art the tightest. Three cheers for sweet revenge. Thou art oh. the tightest? Mm. I don't know what that is. Mm. Snapdragons, honeysuckles, sunflowers. Hmm. Snapdragons? over a gargoyle. Why did I do that? What the fuck is going on here? S-rank, bitch. S-rank plus, legendary. Swag, 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 swag. Do 
Phew, that was a close one. Oh, here he comes. He ah. looks upset. My sincerest apologies. There's an urgent matter that I must attend. I'm afraid I must leave. No problem. Everything all right? Everything is perfectly fine, but it's Lucian. He appears to have, well, a teacher needs me to come to school. Do you need help? Oh, no, you don't have to. Let me come with you. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's go. Um. Damien walks into school, and I immediately greeted by an anxious-looking Hugo. <sighs> hey, Damien. Is it Damien or Damien? Damien? Mm. Damien, I think. Hmm? Hmm? Damien and I have hauled him a step behind him. He leads us to a busy corridor. The past is ever met. I wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually ushers him. Watch your step. We find another teacher in the boiler room tucked away in the back basement. Him and Lucian are in a... Oh, yeah. That's Lucian. Okay. Thank you for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. Look around. It seems a crime. Bunch of bricks and some masonry tools oh. scattered around. What happened here? Ernest punched me. Oh Lucian my. tried to kill me. The room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a second, Lucian. Did you try to cask of Antimolon or Ernest? Neither confirming or deny that. It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe show where a man... Gets his enemy drunk, lures him into the cellar with a promise of wine and fine vintage, then buries him alive behind a brick oh. wall. That's funny. I've never read that. Sweet Manchego. Sweet Manchego. What? It's only five pages long and there's no movie. summer job hey <laughs> i loved summer job it's when you can make the most money as a child hmm. it's all right all things considered lucian's bricklaying was pretty good <laughs> 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 maybe he'll be a bricklayer it's probably just going through the phase i i admire how you handled that i really admire how you handled that <laughs> see you around uh. soon that'd be my honor and pleasure for bows with a flourish class uh. Curl up on the couch, blanket, watch a TV, a plop down next to her. What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. <laughs> Lucian live streamed the entire thing of him burying her. <laughs> yes, that's funny. Day complete. How do we do? I feel like we did pretty good. Daddy points. A lot of them. A lot of points. Not quite a mill. S rank. Okay. The works of okay. Feldman? I'll take he an S rank. Simply slayed in the Lost Boys. Simply slayed in the Lost Boys. Let's go for a save here. I love that he loves Corey Feldman. That's funny. <laughs> Horn Institute for the Orbs. Oh. Hmm. Hey. I got in. She got in, everybody. That's great. That's great news. <laughs> We're very proud of her that she got into the school. Uh, hmm? I still, to this day, yes. even though I graduated, I still, to this day, I would say almost weekly, have a nightmare where I fail the final test and I have to redo a class. I still have that <laughs> nightmare to this day. <laughs> That's how much school fucked me up. I don't want to read all this. What time is it? We're gonna gonna play for a couple more minutes and then we're gonna you got dads should I just no, let's read what this is hello Amanda's dad it's me your friend Craig who loves sports I have a nice and smart children who are good at computers ah oh, man great to hear from you buddy what's up 
I'm still strong. What's this say? Hey, JH, it's me, your dear old friend from way back, Dad Manda. What are you doing on Dad Book? I've been reading up on your whey protein. You use that at all? I figured it would help me develop a bit more muscle. Yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party. They wanted to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on here. So also you're invited. Cool. Attend the party. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. You ready for today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tea party. Man, this guy can't stop going to fucking tea parties. This guy can't stop going to tea parties. Put on going outside pants. Fuck authority. Fuck authority. Hmm. What did I say about the pants? Huh. Huh. <laughs> Hello, thank you for coming to the tea party. Wow, they are twins. Look at that. They look exactly the same, but they've got different bangs. Oh, look at that. We've got uh, Briar and Hazel lead us to the table and occupied by Matt and his daughter, Carmen Sita. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look, our friend Joseph's here, too. Hmm. Wait, no, is that not his name? I forget what this guy's name is. It's Brian. Sorry. Joseph is the cult leader guy. I mean, hmm. not cult leader. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey. Hmm. History Channel Princess, Hacker Princess, Rude Boy. Rude Boy! Rude Boy. <laughs> oh. hey. hmm. Why does my guy love Ska so much? Hmm. Hey. Hey. Hey, yeah. Day rolls on. Blah, dah, dah, dah. Mm -hmm. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, rude boy princess. Hmm. Nah, I'm filled up with cookies. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, thanks for the raid nap, monster. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We're just playing some uh, wonderful dream daddy. Hmm. Just, uh, just playing some wonderful dream daddy. Looking at all those wonderful dads. Look at all these wonderful dads. All right, I think we're trying to fuck this one next. We've got we've got one heart already. I'm gonna give him a message. We're gonna message this guy. You got a letter. It's from Damien. Oh wow, that's hard to read. I hope you'll find my continued correspondence endearing rather than trying. One can only hope that. My use of the slower, more traditional form of communication will showcase my sincere and earnest sentiment. Nice, we only got to Robert. He was a bit much. <laughs> oh, yes, Robert does do a bit of an assault at the beginning. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm just... Uh, we're, we're playing through all of the free Twitch Prime games, and uh, uh -huh. this one was picked next, hmm. so... That's what we're doing. Ah. All right. hmm. <laughs> I'm not really, All right. I don't really like these games. And I don't really like reading, but uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get through them. We're trying to get through the games. Okay. Hmm. Ah. I do hope that this letter finds you in good health. Hey, good morrow to you on this fine eve. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh, hey, remember when your friend tried to cast a... Uh, you've been good. Must confess my amateur control of the written word. Okay. Um, 
Do you find me in good spirits, for I felt the much same after our last encounter. I did very much enjoy the adventure we found ourselves in the last we met. The earnest shit was pretty messed up. Oh, with this one. Yeah. Strange events, I found myself enamored by the situation at hand. Uh, I've lost in your details. Um, let me get to that. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go with this one. Let me take you out. I got two movie tickets, bitch. Um, I would f very much enjoy your company. Accompany me to the cinema. It would bring me great pleasure to escort you to the cinema. Alright, best wishes. Hard daps. What's that mean? <laughs> What's hard daps? Namaste will carry on. Let's go with namaste. Is that okay? Uh, Amanda reads over the sloppy handwriting. Uh, it looks good to me. It looks like pretty nice to me. <laughs> Great pleasure to two tickets to the Vampire Crusade 2 Evil Never Dies. What's that movie? I want to see Vampire Crusade 2 Evil Never Dies. Um, I'm going to seal and put it in his mailbox. Can I seal it with tape? Returns with a candle. Wax seal. All right. Folded huh? letter. Actually presses a small piece into the wood. She lets it dry for a second and puts the wood revealing. Here it is. Your sigil. A, a little kitten with a bow on its head. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I guess they're all there is to do is deliver it to his doorstep now. I thought we were getting a carrier pigeon to do it. I have a pigeon guy. Marcus has a good has good pigeons. Okay, are we actually are we actually gonna do it with a pigeon? No. Mm. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay. Finally, night rolls around and we're supposed to meet Damon. Damien is it Damien or Damon? I don't know. Damien, I guess. The next day, uh, oh, he made it. He made it. We're into the second date, everybody. We've gotten to the second date. That's wonderful. That is wonderful stuff. Ah. I don't know. I just walked up. My apologies for frightening you. Was that thunder? Is it going to rain uh. soon? I didn't hear anything. What? Uh. Aye. What? Regardless, the hour grows mm. close. Are, are we going to do like a going to do like a hand job in the movie theater or what? What's going on here? I'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of a hand job. Uh. Oh, he brought his kid. I didn't know you were coming to the theater. Glad to see you spending some quality time. <laughs> Whatever, Dad. My friends and I are uh, going to see the movie about talking animals. I don't really care about it. Uh, we'll be watching The what? Vampire Crusade 2. Yeah, I thought Damon would enjoy it. Good luck with that, Dad. <laughs> oh, he's going to be scared. I get it. He's going to be scared. He's going to be really scared, probably. Huh. Is everything okay? Vampires, huh? This movie hasn't even started. Is everything okay? Uh -huh. Everything is perfectly fine. I'm uh, so excited for the film. Diverted to the part. I'm a devoted patron to the arts, especially the scary arts. The scarier that the art, the better. Do you have a favorite horror movie? I, of course, uh, my favorite is Halloween Town. Oh, interesting. That's odd. Doesn't seem to remember Halloween Town being that scary. Wait a second. Are you afraid Hi. of horror movies? I love horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he's screaming. That is funny. We settle into the film and licorice. Take notes of how his hand is shaking. Um, that sounds scary. Awaken my coven. This rules. Wow, he's really scared. He's very, very scared. Ah! Rami sleeps under the slider of general throat. Blood splatters over everything, ah. including the cinema. I immediately blush, forgetting that vampires are blood or vampire oh or blood. My. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Retracts his hand and places it back into his lap. I was writing a novel in my head. I'll do what the d all dads do best. Talk during a movie. Tell a dad joke. Point a plot. Ask what's happening. <laughs> wow, all of these things my dad does. Um... Point out a plot hole. Hmm. Hey, huh. look. Why do dads talk so much during movies? That is true. 
It appears that the Vampire Crusade was the Vampire Crusade in our hearts. What? What? Twist ending? Oh, wow. Bloodline has been pure for a thousand years and always portrays us. By loving a human woman, it will only be a short time before the next Vampire Crusade 3 evil must die again. Wow. What an interesting film. Let's take a stroll. All right, we should probably save here. Ugh. Comes with a smooth response. Thanks, cool, okay. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Crushed it. Ugh. Go to the corner by greet. Oh, we're going to the cemetery, that's fun. Oh wow, look at this. He led me to his favorite spot, the cemetery. Oh wow, you made a picnic under his cloak. Ah! Ah! We love it. What? Hmm. Ah! 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 Wow, he's hmm. rich. Whoa, look at this guy. Dog trots over to Damien, sniffs his hand. Hmm. I'm back in. When I see a dog, I'm back the fuck in. Hmm. Oh god, it's this fucking guy again. Oh my god, it's this fucking guy. Hey. Oh. Oh. Victorians love dogs. Actually, most Victorian women that had high fashion would be always be accompanied by a small dog. Yeah, man, dogs are cool. I can proper channel me if he walks me home. Wow, thank you, Damien. I'll use this to dry my tears for those that are lost. I can't wait to seize on this. I'm gonna wave at, wave this at passing ships. I approve. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's. How did I do on that date? Did I? Did I do good? How did I do? Let's see the results. Date complete. S rank, come on. S rank, S rank, S rank. Billion points. A. That was just bricky. What did I fuck up? Bricky as in the Victorian term for hmm. good. I don't know what I fucked up. Well, anyway, that's enough for today. So, we will be back maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow with some more Dream Daddy. But I'm not sure about tomorrow because tomorrow is usually a day that I don't stream. So, okay. Our loads are all there. We're all good. Um, thanks for watching, everybody.